Welcome back fourth grade scientists and today we're going to finish up activity two of lesson 2.1. I would like us to talk about the simulation that you created. So first, as always, let's review what our purpose for this unit is. We are trying to figure out how the electrical system works. Now, in our last lesson, you had to complete this page in your um, investigation notebook. If you did not do that, you need to stop the video right now, go back to Tuesday's assignment, and complete this for the simulation first. Then come back and watch this video. So you should have recorded two systems that you created. One needed to have light output as an energy form and sound as an output energy form. So as you can see here, the first one had to do with light and the second one had to do with sound. You could have called them whatever you wanted, but just so we can identify them here as we're talking about them, the first one we're gonna say is light, the second one is sound. So we want to know what forms of energy you observed as outputs for both electrical systems. So for our light output energy, when we built that system, what did we have? We had light energy, that was our purpose, but we also had a little thermal energy. And for the sound system, what did we have? We had sound energy, yes, but there also we had thermal energy. What do you notice that's the same in both of these systems? Yes, there's thermal energy produced in both of these systems. Now, quite often when you are making a system, you're, you might get thermal energy even though that is not what you intended. So let's think about this a little bit. I'm listening to my iPod or I'm listening to music on my phone I've been doing it for a little while. What happens to my phone? What happens to my iPod? It heats up a little bit. So thermal energy is also created, even though sound energy was my purpose. Now let's think about a light bulb. I turn on my light, I've had it on for an hour or so. Do you touch that light bulb? Absolutely not, because it, gets, it can get really hot. So even though my purpose for turning on that light switch that turned on my lamp was to have light, one of the side effects, I guess you could say, one of the other things that was made is heat from that. So our purpose for this in simulation was to show that the output energy isn't only what you intend, but sometimes there's also thermal energy. All right, so I will see you again next time. I just want you to keep thinking about that, that we might produce more than one type of output energy, even though it's not what we intended. So have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.